Race 7 of the BMW IBSF Women's Monobob World Cup. We're in Innsbruck in Austria. Start record holder Cynthia Appiah lay in sixth position within shooting distance of the medals after the first of the two heats. The start record that she had set a year previously looked out of touch, but she equaled it with her second getaway, finding an extra tenth of a second in the push, and that was enough to accelerate her down the track, way ahead of current leader Melanie Hassler of Switzerland. Appiah, just out a tenth from the medals after the first run, looked like she was putting down a run to be a real contender. Smooth controlled lines and high speed at the bottom put her name in the frame. And she would still be the leader as China's Ying Ching came to the line. She'd been also in touch with the medals, looking for a career best top five finish here. But she dropped behind Appia right from the start. Without that firepower at the getaway on the short Innsbruck track, she was always going to struggle for pace. Second quickest out of the Chrysal. It was a neat and tidy run, but she could do nothing to close the gap on the flying Canadian. Ying dropped down the order, and as she finished her run, Appia crept another step closer to the medals. Lara Nolte is the newly crowned Monobob World Champion. With two wins in Lake Placid and Winterberg and two silver medals as the highlights this season in the last two races in Altenburg, she also lies second in the World Cup rankings. And after the first heat, she was definitely in with a medal chance, but the second was not her best. Too many skids, hitting just about everything in sight on the Eagles track was always going to rob her of speed. And in the leader's box, Appia looked on as the new world champion sank behind her. Into the top three and Australia's Brianna Walker in the bronze medal position after a strong first heat. She too found more speed at the start in what will be her last World Cup outing of the season. In the last World Cup race in Altenburg, she claimed a bronze medal. She finished fourth in the World Championships in Samaritz a week earlier. Narrowly behind at the Chrysal, she needed a great bottom part of the track to try and overhaul the Canadian. A couple of wavery moments, but she had just enough coming into the lower labyrinth to race ahead and guarantee herself at least a bronze medal, with Appia now in second. Kaylee Humphreys had been in the silver medal position after the first of the two heats, always a contender in the mono or the women's bobsleigh. Another good start from the former Canadian, now American slider, and she was in touch. But the second heat was nothing like her first. Mistakes early on, and then lower down on the track as well, having to haul it off corner nine, not from the top draw of Kaylee Humphreys' drives. Some you win, some you lose. This was not one that she was going to win. She dropped back to third with one sled to go. Final sled on ice had been our first heat leader, Lisa Bukvitz. With the fastest start in the first heat, she didn't quite match Cynthia Appiah's track record start in the second, but she had enough of an advantage over the Canadian to give her a little bit of a comfort blanket. A silver and a bronze medal in two races in North America had been her season highlight so far. She had not finished on the podium in a World Cup race in Europe up until now. But all that was about to change. After bronze in the World Championships, she went on to claim her first ever Monobob win as a driver here in Innsbruck, delighting herself. This will be her final World Cup outing as well. She does not go to Segulda next week. That means Lisa Bukvitz uses her final joker to claim gold ahead of Brianna Walker and Cynthia Appiah, the first win for the German driver. Kaylee Humphreys is still our World Cup points leader. Lara Nolte will chase for the Crystal Globes in Segulda. But we are done for the season with Lisa Bukvitz and Mono.